Welcome and hello everyone. Sherry here and today in this video we're going to talk about the free pattern made from Ethel's tote or from Swoon and it's called the Ethel tote bag. So there's a picture of Swoon patterns Ethel tote bag. So it's hard to tell from the picture. It looks like it's just a straight tote bag, but there's a pocket right here. So it's about maybe 12 pages to print off. I can't remember. It might be. It's around 10 or 12 pages. The instructions are incredible. If I can do it, you can do it. Um... The only thing that puts me off of bag making is all the interfacing you have to buy. I find interfacing very expensive and you have to have it, don't you? So this is the tote bag that I have made. There's the pocket. Actually in the uh, instruct, so I made two chain, well, I didn't really make changes. I just didn't sew down here to divide the pocket in half. I wanted that to be a wide pocket. That's just a personal preference. And then on the inside, you can see there's lots of room in there for, uh, whew, everything's going to fall out. So I have my toolkit from work, which is quite big. I have a bottle of water, my glass case, and there's still room in there. I have a notebook in here as well. I don't know where, it, oh, it's on the bottom. So I also have a notebook in there with a pen. I throw my keys and my phone in here. And there's room in here for face masks, because I have to wear those at work. And... This toolkit is, it's hard to pull it out that way, is quite large, so keeps all my scissors and things in there. Usually I have my glasses in there too, but yeah, so I quite like this tote bag. It has no buttons, no zippers, no snaps, no rivets. So if you're new to the tote bag, tote bag making world, you are going to enjoy making this bag. Now, as I was saying about the instructions, um, yes, they tell you exactly what you need to get for fabric and uh, the specific type of interfacing you need if you're an illiterate interfacing person like I am. Now I just used what I had. I used a lightweight interfacing on the pockets and I used medium weight interfacing on the bag body and it says to use uh, foam interfacing I didn't have any, so I uh, used needle punch, like a quilt bat type thing. And it worked out really well. Uh, it made it thick to sew, but I have an industrial machine and I didn't find it bad, but I'm pretty sure you'd be able to make this on... If you use same things I did and I didn't grade the seams down, so which would make it easier, wouldn't it? So and I found it was I don't have crisp edges because of that, because I didn't grade the seams all the way down, but I'm quite happy with it, so I think it worked out quite well. And I love this print. It's called, uh, I never do this because I never know what stuff is called. Um, a stitch in time. Do we measure up 
and by Nutex. And it's 100%. It's just a cotton. And I used broadcloth for the inside. And yeah, it worked out really well. I did make my handles longer. I think in the pattern it calls for 20 inch handles. And I wanted to make sure I could get them over my big bulky winter coat when I carry it over my shoulder. Because I think the handles are supposed to be 20 inches. So, well, they would be more like, more like that. That's not a big deal. I just made them longer. So that was the only two changes that I made, which is pretty good for me. Because usually <laughs> I make a lot of changes. So yeah, I quite enjoy making this. So I will make it again. If I do make any more of these, I'll probably post pictures on Instagram. Because I think you could have a lot of fun making this bag, uh, switching up the uh, fabrics and now you put some embroidery or I don't know use your imagination so yes I quite enjoyed making this and I hope it inspires you to make something so let me know in the comments below if you plan on making a tote bag or what type of tote bag are you going to make uh, I'll see you next time I'll insert a little bit of video of my uh, bird feeder it's a squirrel proof bird feeder and I think you'll all find it funny okay take care bye